Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see how to purchase, deactivate an item or set of items in the item master. Before doing anything, let us know what is the meaning of purchase, deactivate. When a business owner doesn't want to purchase a product or set of products in their shop, but keeps the item active and continue to do sales till the time the stock gets finished, the purchase deactivation process is done. The benefit is by deactivating the purchase function of an item, the system will not allow us to do further more purchase entries but will allow us to sell the remaining stock products. As a result, when anyone tries to do purchase, the item will not appear in the item list hello view. So let us see while doing the purchase how the screen looks like. Go to purchase then purchase invoice. Here we'll take the vendor put any invoice number and put the invoice amount and press enter. Here can you see the list of items. Over here suppose I don't want to purchase 7 up 600 ml item anymore from the shop. So what will we do? Now see the steps for purchase deactivation for 7 up 600 ml. Let us do the purchase deactivation process for that item. Go to inventory then master then items. Here. First, we will check whether the purchase deactivation option is enabled or not. To do that, click on this blank button and press F4. So it means the key combination is Ctrl plus F4 to bring up the Manage tab window. In the Manage tab window, we'll go down and select the Activation Status window. Here you can see all the options are active. So the purchase also active, the sales also active. So it means whatever we one, we can select it from here and we can apply. Click on apply to apply the setting. Now, as we have taken the example for 7up 600ml, so let's click on F4 edit button and take that 7up 600ml item. So we'll go to this activation status window and now you can see all are set as yes. So it means system will allow to do purchase order, do purchase entry, do sale entry, do sale return entry, every entry which is set as yes. So let's deactivate this option, press F2 and set it as no and click on save and that's it. We have successfully deactivated the purchase option for this particular item. So if you want to activate this option for multiple items, again you can go to this blank button and click on F3. So the key combination is Control plus F3. The bulk update window will appear. So now, based on your requirement, maybe you can filter by category, by department, by subcategory, whatever you want. You can select and locate the purchase option. Suppose you don't want to purchase any more beverages. For that, you will search for beverages, select that and press enter. So currently for few items it is set as no. So if you want you can set for all. So you click here, select the option as no, press enter. You will notice that this color of this uh, option has become blue. So select this and press Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift and V to paste the value to entire column. Then click on yes to paste, give the confirmation. So now all are became no. So it means for all the FMCG items, we will not be able to do any purchase. Click on save. You can see 158 records will be updated. Click on yes. So the operation is completely done. So currently what will happen, all those items which are set as no will not appear in the purchase screen. So let us check what happens. Again, we are going to purchase, then purchase invoice, and the purchase invoice in trick screen opens. Click on enter, take any vendor, put any invoice number and invoice amount. And if we press enter, so now you can see that 7 of 600 ml item is not showing. It means system is restricting this item to be purchased. Now let's see whether this item can be sold or not. Then we are going to sell sell bill now press enter and now you can see 7 up 600 ml item is visible so it means as per the, our requirement we have successfully deactivated the item 
only for purchase but system is allowing to do sales till the time the stock is there i'm selecting this you can see you can successfully do a sale entry with this so i hope it is pretty clear to you all how to do purchase deactivation for an item thanks for watching